Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. I am going to combine artist work. Um, this is a digi print, and it is on the Etsy shop Mac Jewelry. I think it's 2012 and more. But anyway, um, I buy a lot of her digis. And she runs these deals where you can buy lifetime digital kits from her for ridiculous low amounts. I haven't signed up for that, to be honest, for one reason. I don't. I want to pay her what I know her work and her time and her efforts are worth. So I just buy the kits that I want and like. Um, I forgot and didn't print it all the way to the edge. But I, yeah, I'm just going to put it together now and then come back and trim it up. Because the edges aren't really going to make that much difference as far as the size goes and fold in it. Because it's still going to be equal. But, um, I got in my kit today from Darkwood Sanctuary. Um, Darkwood Sanctuary, a.k.a. Hags Hollow, a.k.a. Just little Amy that we all know and adore. And if you look at her papers, and look at this kit, I don't think I can match it up any better. I love them together. Um, you know, some may not agree, some may not like it. But I love it. I think these papers are going to look good in here. So, what I'm going to do is start putting together the journal. And I hope I can get all of the creation of this journal into video when I get to you know, sew it together. I'll just have to be patient and do it on video. So, let me look here at what I have for Amy. So Amy put it in this folder. And what I'm going to do is, once I get... The um, journal all together. I'm hoping, beyond hope, that I can use this folder. And it's a little split, so what I'm going to do is decide which side I want to be my cover. And I believe it'll be this side. And I will put something over here. I'll cut off this part. But. I'm going to glue craft tech to the other side and then I will paint it with a complementary color or cover it or something. You know, we'll see it as it goes along. But I'm going to put Miss Misty's papers together. So I want you to see these papers too. And these are just printed on regular copy paper. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is called Running Out of Ink. So this one didn't finish written. But I must say that because I can use it for something else. This is a repeat. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This may have to go on the cover, too. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get some papers together. That's where I am. Okay, this is in the journal. So more two. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this one runs this way. Hmm. I'll set this one aside for right now. I love this digi. It's reminds me of Colorado, driving through the snow there and seeing all the different things that are covered in snow. I just love this digi. And I probably have more that didn't print. I started running into printer issues while I was printing most of this. And this one has the Old World Santa in it, so I'm not going to use it in there. So it's not a Christmas journal. It is a winter journal. I love this page, too. And like I said, you know, I was running into problems with the printer. We were getting ready to go out the door to leave to get back to the woods. And things were just messing up. So you'll see more of the kit as I go along because I'll go back and reprint the pages I don't have. And I'm going to trim up all these pages as well. And other ones I print, I'll remember printing. <coughs> Do not put an edge on it. 
Well, this is pretty. Very pretty. It is one page. Some of my paper is thicker than others. It all depends on what's in the printer at the time. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I have a feeling this is going to be a chunky monkey. Like I said, I didn't print out all of her pages because of the printer problems. And I kept having to restart the print. That's why we have so many of them. I've done that one. I like this because you got all this extra journal space on here. Okay, how many did I end up with so far? One, two, three, four, five. Still think it's two pieces. It is. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we're going to take this paper. No, we're not. This is a giant paper. She does this. Okay, we're going to find a regular size piece of paper. I like this color better anyway. So this should be 10 pages, which would be a 20-page signature. And yeah, I like these two colors together. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I like them together. So I am going to combine these two artists' work this time. And like I said, I don't normally do this, but, you know, you got to use Amy's saver, so you can't keep saving it. And I missed out on the red set, so I'm going to try, hopefully before Valentine's Day, to dye my own. I used to do it. Four. Then when Amy started dying, I said, why am I going to go through all this mess when I can just buy it? I know that's not right, but hey, <laughs> she, can do, she can do the work and... 
destroy your hands. I always wore gloves. I couldn't stand it. You guys know me and my hands. I can't stand all that. So let's put five more together. And again, I'm going to come back and trim up the white edges. Signature together. See how easy it is? Wait a minute. What did I do? I didn't put my last one in. Okay, now five more. I need the WD-40 in my chair again. Okay. One. Open says me. Okay. So I have three signatures all together. And this is without even decorating them, so they're pretty good size. And I have tons of paper and stuff left over too. So I will be making more um, videos on this series as I work on it. And you know, I'm going to put an envelope in one. So let's go. To the center and back to. Yep, gotta go back to three. This is usually how I figure out my weight. Is I go to the center and work my way back. Then I will put a bag, I hope. I don't think so. I think a bag is gonna be way too big. Okay, let's skip the bag. Let's go back over here. And what else do we have? Yeah, the bags are way too big. I can't use them. Enough of this. Um, let's put a couple of envelopes in this one. And then we'll run a dot of glue down this just in case. It's sticky, but you can see the ink got under it a tiny bit, so I just want to make sure it stays. I hate this glue. Well, no, I don't like the bottom. So I'm put this piece here. Here, 
try not to get it as thick this time. And just reverse it. So there we go. Envelopes I can stick stuff in. And back here I have the same. Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay. Signature three. I have two doilies. Oh no, I have three doilies. I'm going to use two of them. working on a pool, do you hear him? So he's building a house out there. I'm gonna do these staggered. Put this one up here. So there is something different in each signature, and that's the way I would do it. I would keep balancing back and forth so that no two signatures are identical. They will all have something different. How big are these? I love this paper. Oh, cool. I love, I love this paper. So I can't go there. I don't want to go there. they all will have to be trimmed up but I put everything together first and then get back and do all my trimmings and situating and changing everything up before I do the official end so there's one this is a lighter and I know I said I put different things in each one but with this paper it's got to go in here it has to go in each signature so I'm just going to put it there with the envelopes put it here and this one Um, she sent some cards, some um, library cards as well. They will go in here. Let me see what else I have up here I can use. So this is yeah, the paper bags. If, hold on a second. If I went, how did I do that at the end? See if this will work. I went like this, put this in here, and then make this a fold back like so. What you think? Will that work? And I'll fold it in. Yeah, I like it better fold it in. All right, Kathy, get on the line. All over the place here. bag in here too. But that works. And then 
up here. I just decorate this section of it some, with some stuff. So you can't really tell it's a paper bag when I finish with it. So, let's see, I'm still going to have more of this misty's paper, so I think what I would do is hold off on adding more of this because I still need to decorate it and do the cover. So, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be how many pages it has because simply I like it. I like the big storage bag at the end to put extra ephemera in that goes with the kit. So, this is part one. Stay tuned and let's watch the winter Woodland Winter Journal take place. And I hope you guys will follow me on this journey. And I hope you will like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.